Specific heat capacity is how much energy is required to raise one gram of a substance by one degree centigrade. And latent heat is how much energy is required to change the state of the same item, like say from a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas without increasing the temperature. Now with those technical bits out of the way, why is this interesting and how is it useful? Well, different substances require different amounts of energy for these processes to take place. And this reflects how and why they are used and also explains some unusual effects you may have actually noticed. Water, for instance, has a very high specific heat capacity, which is why it's used extensively as a coolant. But also it means that environmentally, the huge amount of water on our planet acts as a heat sink, without which our planet would have far more dramatic changes in temperature than it actually does. And one thing you've probably noticed is when some hot metal is dropped into a bucket of water, either to cool it or to quench it, a cloud of vapour comes up. But how warm would the water actually be after this has happened? Well, if we take a steel horseshoe weighing in at one kilogram and at a temperature of 1000 degrees centigrade, and put it into a large bucket of water, say about 10 kilograms of water at 10 degrees centigrade. The horseshoe water will eventually reach approximately the same temperature. Now if we ignore the energy loss creating the vapour, heating the bucket itself, etc., the maximum average temperature that water will reach will only be around about 20 degrees centigrade. Now another thing with water is that in winter, when there's ice and snow about, even when the temperature warms up, the ice and the snow still hang around for quite some time, especially if it's away from direct sunlight. This is down to how much energy is required just to change the ice at 0 degrees centigrade into water at 0 degrees centigrade. The energy required to melt one kilogram of ice is approximately the same amount of energy required to raise one kilogram of water at 0 degrees centigrade to one kilogram of water at 80 degrees centigrade. So the temperature is only just above freezing. It doesn't have the energy required to melt all that ice and snow. This energy required by water is also why a wet blanket can help you in a fire and why a hot water bottle is so good at warming you in a bed. Also it's why a kettle takes so long to boil and why ice packs are specifically used in treatment of injuries and burns. So that specific heat capacity, really useful, really interesting.